17th century because he was a Jesuit, uh, a Catholic with a mission, in his case, to evangelize and bring the wicked Protestants back to the way of truth, light, and Episcopal supremacy. He did this, incidentally, by uh, very largely by performing exorcisms. He was arrested, not particularly for his exorcisms, but for his Catholicism, and put in here. He was arrested just after the Babington plot. The point of which had been to replace Queen Elizabeth I, Protestant, with Mary, Queen of Scots, Catholic. Mm -hmm. This failed. Ooh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 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 the, uh, this was the period um, from about the middle of the 16th to the middle of the 17th century, and the clink was probably at its busiest. Uh, by this time, the women's lockup was no longer being used, so any women, female offenders were in here, and the Catholics, and the debtors, which we'll come to later, and also the Puritans, the uh, very hardline Protestants, also found themselves outside the straight and narrow uh, acceptable face of Christianity, and they were locked in the clink. Right. So, can I ask a question? Yes, please so do. Where we're sitting and walking around now is the actual site of. Yes. Where all, and this was just after King Henry VIII, isn't it? Uh, the period I'm talking about, yes. Yeah. Certainly. Um, King Henry VIII, as we were all taught at school, though it's amazing how all of this gets forgotten needed a divorce from his wife Catherine of Aragon because he needed a son and she was not providing him with one. So, when the Pope said, I'm not giving you a divorce, Henry said, all right, I'll be the head of the church in England. Sod you. And after that, the church in England started to reform and reform and reform <coughs> until by the death of Henry's heir, Edward, it was Protestant. And then Henry's daughter, Mary, became queen. She was a Catholic. And over her five-year reign, she tried to drag the country kicking and screaming back to Catholicism. And when I say kicking and screaming, I mean it. Anyone who disagreed... Yes, Bloody Mary, madam. Mm went to, was arrested, many of them went to the stake. So by the time Queen Elizabeth got to the throne, Protestant, the Catholics were not merely feared, but hated. Poor old Father Weston, he was of an order, whose, some of whose members had been told if they killed Queen Elizabeth, they would go to heaven. The King of Spain, <coughs> Catholic, was preparing an invasion force. To be a Catholic was no longer just a religious offence, it was on the way to treason. And if someone like Father Weston was arrested, they had to be interrogated. But then, we come to the problem of torture because they've all made a promise, you see. By becoming Catholics, they've promised God that they will be good Catholics. And God is everywhere. He is in the room where they are interrogated. They, he is standing next to their shoulder as they deny having anything to do with any conspiracy. If they break, they betray God. That's a very big promise to break, because he will know. And when he, you stand before him at the day of judgment, and he says, how could you betray me? You know he knows when you did it. So that's the resistance. 
And any good Catholic is going to be thinking of the suffering that Jesus went through on the cross. So the uh, interrogators might have to cause them at least that level of discomfort before they do the sensible thing and rat on their necks. <laughs> <laughs>